With Superman defeated, the shadow of despair hung over the skies of Gotham City. Batman, fueled by a relentless drive to protect his city, decided to investigate the mysterious antagonist known as the Deejil. Unlike common criminals, the Deejil was an enigma wrapped in layers of myths about his control over nature and the unassuming element of gold. Batman, ever the detective, relied on his vast intellect and cutting-edge technology. He began his investigation in the depths of the Batcave, cross-referencing sightings and analyzing any trace evidence left at crime scenes. With Alfred by his side, the Bat computer hummed relentlessly, processing mountains of data. Weeks turned into months with no viable leads. One night, Batman's relentless search bore fruit, or so he thought. He found a connection between the Deejil and an old abandoned gold mine on the outskirts of Gotham. Donning his cape and cowl, he ventured into the darkness, his mind racing with contingency plans. Upon reaching the mine, Batman's finely tuned senses detected an ominous, unnatural presence. Suddenly, the elements seemed to come alive. Vines shot from the ground, wrapping around him with the ferocity of vipers. An uncanny transformation of the mine's environment revealed the Deejil standing serenely amidst the chaos, golden veins glistening under the dim light. Welcome, Dark Knight. The Deejil's voice echoed, making the walls themselves seem part of some malevolent sentience. Batman quickly deployed his gadgets, a sonic disruptor, a barrage of electric batarangs, and even a burst of incendiary capsules. However, the Deejil effortlessly neutralized his attempts, showcasing a control over nature that veered on omnipotence and wielding gold with magnetic precision. Realizing that brute force was futile, Batman shifted to psychological tactics. He triggered a sequence of projections, illusions, and pre-recorded messages aimed at unraveling the Deejil's intentions. But the Deejil was prepared. He used his powers to manipulate the very core of Gotham's infrastructure, causing widespread chaos. The citizens, usually staunch allies of the Dark Knight, found themselves swayed by the Deejil's golden promises and his seeming omnipresence. Propaganda spread like wildfire, framing Batman as the villain. The psychological strain began to overwhelm even the iron-willed Batman. In their final confrontation, Batman found himself stripped of allies, gadgets rendered useless, and his mind teetering on the brink of collapse. The Deejil, with an air of calm triumph, delivered a crushing blow, both physical and psychological, that left Batman defeated, vulnerable, and questioning the cost of his crusade. Gotham, under the Deejil's unnatural influence, had turned against its protector, casting a long shadow over the legacy of the Dark Knight. The city, now gold-tainted and nature-entwined, stood as a monument to Batman's greatest challenge and bitterest defeat.